write my correct people i don't come with or no that one no this one when i see him it shockalize me because this one they happen life life and direct not be seen on news or whatever you see this husband and wife so they married december 20th 2019 they come born one boy that be this picking that boy wouldn't carry so so now a husband if they do a book report with the son nine months son the son is just nine months the husband they do a book report with their own son biological son so he said before she said before she married this man she don't know say this man now matter martin now they do you understand so as if say two of them don't marry the husband not going to see way they go they do that uh Matt to Martin again. Now he can put him for a nine months own in nine months somebody. You understand? He say at first he confess say maybe nothing they happen because in they leave in own son with a husband. Make I leave now when I watch the video. May not be saying I'm a mouth now for you everything. But before I leave now, if you are new to this channel, you are highly welcome. If you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back. And if you have been watching, you've not subscribed, please kindly hit that subscribe button and also put on the notification bell so you'll be getting more updates from this channel. Don't forget to leave your comment down below. Like and share. See, I'll be the one to say, be bond with your son. Carry your son. Carry your son. He's your son. I will always push the boy to him. Push the boy to him. Never knew he was. Not until I sleep off and I leave my son with him. I sleep off. See my son. See how restless he is. See. See, see. I sleep and leave my son with him almost all night. And he will come to me the next morning. I'll be like, ah, baby, they sleep anyhow. Your son was just sucking your boobs. Sucking, sucking, sucking. And you didn't even know. I say, ah, so far you did with him. I'm okay. Not until last three weeks, I mean, last four weeks, this whole dick. If I carry my son, before I know, he takes his head down to my private part. That was last three weeks. Whenever I carry my son, last four weeks, he takes his head down to my private part. Ah, I'll be like, stop that. I'll raise him up. He does it again, over and over again, because he's a child. If you, and I've been with this boy for like nine months, he stays with, I sleep with him, I wake up with him, I bathe him, I know every character, every new thing he does. I'll be like, Do, take your head up. So, I was like, a child that, that I, I, I have been holding, this is something new. What is he looking for? You normally, normally he said, if he wants to do anything, he comes to my, my boobs. He pulls my breast, my bra. That's what he does. Not going down my private path. Ha! I had to watch. Then that cry came. Then I walked into the sitting room. Meet, I met him pulling his father's dick. And his father was naked. The first time I want. The second time, I met him again pulling the father's dick. I won. The first one will have to buy it, but the second one, I was not happy. I carried my son. I will tell him, he's young, but I'm just still telling the father, but I have to tell my son, like, don't touch your father. He's your father. Don't do that. It's a cause. Don't do that. So the third time he came back from where he went to, we laughed. He went into the house, the room, pulled his dress, came out, carried my son. This time he took the, my boy into the, the, the baby's room. Normally, we lie down very straight, like straight on the bed. But this one, he crossed the bed. Crossed the bed, turned his whatever up. Locked the two doors. And before I opened this one, I opened this one, you know, everything. But I was fast. I opened and opened this one. And I met my son pulling his dick to his mouth. I was mad. I said, immediately, I said, oh, you can stop that. My son, which... Fear and everything left the father and was looking at me. And I said, Victor, I don't like this. This time I was screaming. This time I was screaming at the top of my voice. I said, I don't like this. Please, 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 please don't do this. He said, eh, and now because I don't want to insult him, he's my husband. And I now said the word. I said, 
this is how we will take our son to an uncle and the man, the uncle will be molesting our child sexually, putting his dick in the baby's mouth and in the animals and the baby will not say anything because he is used to it because it's something that the father does to him at home or does with him rather. Hmm. He said, what kind of stuff is that one? Give my nika. And I said, yes, whenever you're carrying this boy, if you cannot put yourself in check, I need to check, always wear your nika. I gave him a nika and I carried my child. The previous day, he was supposed to take us to church. He didn't come. I called, called, called. So I was so mad. He came back very late. So I now, I now, I woke up the next morning and saw that service was on. I woke him up and let's go. We went. And on my Shiloh card, I, some, I was feeling so disturbed that I said, God, there's something about my husband that I need to know. There's something telling me that something is wrong. Something I need to know about. Please, Lord, expose it to me. What main things that, the, it, that can be hidden from God? Let it be known to me. I wrote it on my card. What is this? That I also prayed for him in the card too. Hmm. And we got home. He dressed up, went out. That he went. We got home. We we're still quarrelling. You know. He went out, came back. I was like, "Good evening." He did not answer. He went to the house, into to the room, pulled his dress, carried my son, went to the kitchen. I was like, "Ah, I made pepper soup and plantain. Will you eat?" He didn't answer. Will you eat the second time? He didn't answer. The third time, he reluctantly said, "No." Took my son into his room, forgot to have it. He locked just his room door. He did not lock the entrance door to the uh, passage of the room. I was sitting down waiting. So if I had waited longer, hey, maybe my son would have been dead by now. No. I opened the door. I met him lying down with one side of his body. Using one hand to shake his dick, I'm pulling my son. My son was crawling away, pulling my son back with the other hand. And as I opened the door and saw that the next thing he said was sup. Uh -uh. I was like, sup what? Sup, say when I when you enter, I greet you, you answer me. What are you supping me for? I said, please, I want to feed my son. And I already fed him, even had his bath. So I carried my son to the sitting room. My husband is somebody that if he's angry and you touch him at night and you are dead. He will scream God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit down for you. You don't touch him. He might even smash his phone on the wall. For that night, I was prepared for anything. I went into the room, tapped him. I said, oh, God, wake up. He was looking at me. I said, hey, all what I am thinking in my head is not true. Just slap me. Tell me that it's not true. Because if it is true, eh, well, hey, I will commit murder with my hand. He was looking at me. I went again. Three hours later, I didn't sleep the whole night. I went, I woke him up again, shined my torch to his eyes. He said, Why are you trying to put touch on my eye now? Hell, his behavior. How do I do that? How do I connect Worry Apoko? Please tell me. Tell me, I'm doing this live video because I'm going for my son's resort tomorrow and it has been manipulated. I've sent the voice note out that the record I had, the conversation we had was recorded. It was when I was leaving the house, I knew something like this was going to happen. You know, when you are dealing with a man that has no shame and is associated with same set of people, Anything is expected. Somebody has told me that Nigeria has no law. I had to take, you know. Okay, so I don't know. Somebody said Nigeria Apropo. How do I do that? Please come and tell me. Oh, how do I look for Nigeria Apropo? If I bait him as a last week, because I I had to to um okay, let me just like last week, last week, if you touch his bomb on me, he will scream. He was even pouring blood. I messaged the father. I now told him on purpose that I feel the milk. This milk, he has, he has been taking this milk since he was the one. You know? 
I, I just purposely told him the milk is making my son pull blood. The first time I told him, he came back late. The second time I told him, he came back. I was like, it's not the milk. He removed my son's pampas. Look at my husband. Then I've already cleaned him, but I took a video of a picture of that. It was I said I cleaned him up already. He said, he even told me when he was out, I said, snap and send me. I wanted it, it was even the one that gave me the idea. I snapped. I wanted to send him and I said, no, I won't send him. Come here. I won't send him. So I kept it to myself. And um, he came back. He said, it's not the milk. I said, then what is what? He was insisting, telling me with all confidence that it was not the milk. I just smiled for my mother when I see this one. So the fourth time, I now carried my baby. When I carried my baby, I, I woke him up the whole night. Please, if you can tag anybody for me, tag. I don't know how it's done. This Facebook, it's been long. I'm going to do this live video on IG as well. I woke him up throughout the night. He never said a word. Do you know when you are suspecting your husband of something and you want your husband to scream badly and take that notion of your head that, no, you are lying. This boy never said jack. The next morning he said, ah, you, you be mad, woman. You know, say you're mad. I said, mad, but I was mad how? He said, you be you're mad, though. So they shake my dick, they follow my sons. I said, what did they, what did they talk? I said, what did they, when me I enter, when you enter, I greet you, you know, answer me. I opened the door, they asked me, so I see you with my two eyes. I said, come, do you think I will lie on you? Even if I, I hate you so much, I want to lie on you. I can never lie on my son. I labored for two days for this boy. Go to 10 cm, go back to 4 cm, manipulation from the pit of hell. I saw hell. I was even begging you to help me. We were watching African magic. Then you are not telling me that I will lie on my son. Am I mad? I said, please. He said, eh, we actually spoke about the whole thing, and at the end of the day, we laughed. When I was pregnant, if he comes back around 3, and I scold him, he, if I wake up the next morning, he will sweep the whole house. Prepare breakfast in bed for me and remove dirty from plates because he doesn't know how to wash plates. So you just pick out dirty to make the plates easy for me to wash. But since I had my child for nine months plus, he has not even touched the broom before. If that broom or talk about to help me remove dirt from plates. I said they, they actually switched my husband during the move. But that morning after he made me laugh, this guy swept the whole house. We removed dirty from the plate and went under the rain to get drinking water. He was just confirming everything to me. Hey, my head spinned to the cyst. I was saying thank you, but I was watching him. Then when he came back, I was like, I wonder how long my son has been suffering this annoying to me. See, parents, especially mothers, watch your children. Don't say because I'm in love with him, he's my husband. Don't lie, yo. Now lie. Hey, most men are dogs. Most men are they are animals. If a father can actually be sexually attracted to his son, hmm. so that morning after he did all that, all that, and I just told him, please get your family. I will get my family. I have something to tell them. Please. He ignored the second day. I told him the third day. I told him. So he went out. Usually I changed I changed my genital oil, change the plug, hold my newborn baby in one side of my hand and be drain generator. I'll call him. I don't see my husband till 3 a.m. I change plug, change oil, fix gen. My neighbors, I even have a video of that because I had to I had to do that. To the extent I will even go outside to call boys to come and help me. They were like, oh, your husband. My husband, my brother most times sees me on the road. What do you define? Say my genital spray, define genital repair. 10, 30, 11, 12. Hmm. So I went through all that. And that particular day, I said, no, I cannot do this. And each time, each time I do it, you will come back to the house. You charge your phone. It's not asking me how only. Is it because I'm a strong woman or something? You're taking advantage of it. I don't rely on anybody to do my thing. I do my thing myself. He said, that day I called him. I was like, there's no fire. He said, somebody will bring fire. I said, there's no oil. Plug is bad. 
He said he's coming. I waited and my baby was hungry. I waited for four hours. This guy did not come. So I decided to go and change the gen, the plug myself. And I already, I'm already feeling pain on this, my right hand, my left hand, because my baby's waiting. So I went downstairs, gave my neighbors, my, my neighbors and children, my baby, went to get plug. Okay, I went to my baby to get plug and oil, gave my neighbor's baby, my, my, my neighbor's children, my baby, went to the back, was changing the plug. I don't know, they, my baby fell down with a crack or a tear, how, a tear on his head or a tear on his head with blood gushing out. Because they didn't want me to know, they put vegetable soup in my baby's mouth to shut him up. But from the back, I heard my baby, but I came up, but before I came out, it was already calm. I carried in, they cleaned the blood, but they didn't clean everything. So I saw the dried blood there and I was mad. So my husband came back. I, I said, you are just coming with that anger in me. Because of you now, they twist up and they don't fall my kid for grand. The next day he said that, shut up! Idiot! Uh -uh. I was like, Victor, you can actually shout. This was how I wanted you to shout when I saw what I saw. And you were mute like somebody that has leprosy. So you can shout. Why are you shouting? Like, why the hell are you shouting? You're trying to shut me up. Why? I, I had it up to here. See? Ah. That day, I threw respect aside. In fact, from that minute, he did that thing to my son. I almost want to chop him like a lion. Before, before I even talk, maybe my hand would not enter in dress. I would not even deter him because I was mad. I would not even deter him. I said, if you want to frustrate my life, my son, hey God. And he said, Oh, you want problem? This is that. Why in the midst of all that I called my father? My father called my brother. And my brother came down, came into the compound, like, what's going on here? From downstairs, like, oh, I don't like this. Man. I mean that my my brother has, you know, had one or two, and he was not comfortable anymore. He left. We after my husband had my brother's voice, he came in and like, my wife, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay, sorry I shouted. I would have come. I said, this is what I need. When I need you to shout, you know, shout. He said, okay, let's sleep out. Then Kevin Sapp was having his show in Worry KFT. He was to attend. I said, after much, and I didn't want him to go and leave us. He might not even come back. I, I needed to go with him. I packed things that would last me, myself and my baby for four days. My phone, my key, everything. I took it into the car, carried my baby. So when it was about to rise, my brother came, saw the head like him. I was like, Victor, you are always doing this and I'm no longer happy. As in, your blessing, I shoot this bottle of water for your eye. For doing this all the time, I keep quiet. I call you bros. You complain to me most times. I tell you where you are wrong. I tell my sister where, blah, 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 blah. No, knowing that a man that is not into a woman cannot give you happiness. How, how are you supposed to take no? Hmm. Then I was pinching my husband, like, don't say a word. Then I was telling my brother, no, what you are doing, you are doing the right thing at the wrong time in the wrong place. I know, don't talk to him. I so that the thing will not, I handed my baby over to my husband. My key, my phone, everything was in the car. I came downstairs. I came down the car, sorry. Took my brother as I was talking to him. In the process of talking to my brother, my husband pinned the door down. Wind the glass, the glass up and zoomed up. As I saw him driving, I was like, My baby is in that car. And being that I've had that experience the previous day or two days before that day, I was like, Oh, my baby, my, my, my brother did not understand because he has no idea. He said, What happened? And I said, Security, stop it. As he just said, See, people won't stop. He fire speed. He was like, Why is your husband acting like that? I was like, that is not even my problem. My baby. My baby must not be with that boy. My baby was not. Be. I was crying. My brother said, wait till they happen. Wait till, why did you? Now, Papa, I said, no, 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 no. I had to open. My brother said, eh, you know this kid, you shut off since. And you really the baby. My brother had to follow me to my auntie's place that night around 12. Because he left around 8.30. And we were, we were outside till 12. And I went to my auntie's place. My auntie now called the mom. The mom now said, eh. 
uh, your your brother was insulting my husband. Martina said, no, that is not the case. Uh, man, Martina said, no, that is not the case. That child is breastfeeding. Yo, the, uh, the uh, Chukutim has no right to take a breastfeeding child away from the mother. And everybody has been calling him. He refused to pick their call. So, Male, the mommy did picking no deal with you. Say, no, the baby is not with how. And my husband said, it's too late to bring the baby back. I said, what is too late? So, when did that come from 4 a.m. every day? Now, 12 o'clock is too late. Please, you should bring back my baby. They called my husband. My husband said, he will not bring back the baby. Ah, I said, hey, I started crying. They were like, don't talk, oh, so that I will not say anything wrong. They were trying to calm me down. <laughs> my brother said, let's go home. Ha! So my auntie and I said, ah, this whole thing is becoming too much. If they are not compatible, they should come for a family meeting. Let this whole marriage thing go. You know, out of anger, they held on to that. On our way, I told my brother, call Victor's mother. Call Victor's mother. This was like 1.30. We got to my, the front of my house. They called Victor. He was not picking it. I now said, call the mother. So he called the mother. The mother picked. I said, Male, my baby say, eh, I know me, you, eh, come the judge things we know the next. I say, that is not my problem. If Victor does not bring my child today, I will arrest him the next morning. He said, oh, no, 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 go bring her, go bring her. I said, pick him one at the breastfeed. You can't come up for my hand for close to eight hours. What are you saying? Bring my child back. Before... 2 a.m., maybe 2 30, according to my auntie Victor, brought the baby back in the morning, a.m. So I asked my auntie, Did you ask him where he took the baby to? He said, No, because now he said he did not take the baby to his mother. 